name changing in Hollywood and the pros and cons of name changing in Hollywood and why it was done. In the old days of the studios, when they put a lot of young people on the contract, they wanted some time to change the name of the young people arriving because their name was too difficult to pronounce, too obscure, too common. Uh, they wouldn't look good on a marquee. And so what the studio head used to do, they had a little trick. They used to take the name of one of their big stars. Well, let me give you an example. Uh, let's take the name of uh, one of the most respected person, actors in the Hollywood community, let's say Jimmy Stewart. So they would take the name of Stewart and they would name the other young actors as Linda Stewart, Jack Stewart, Henry Stewart, Julie Stewart, and so forth and so forth. Yesterday I was looking through a an old 1939 uh, player's directory in which all the pictures and the credits were listed. Uh, by the way, there were only about 1,500 actors at the time registered in 1939. Now there are over 70,000. And as I was looking through the list, there were about 10 Wilson, about 9 Stones, about uh, 8 Lanes, etc., etc., etc. Uh, today, some of the young people still want to change their names, but it is not as necessary as they thought it was then, because the public at large readily accepts foreign-sounding names, which they didn't do before. And I think this happened after the Second World War and the influx of all the European actors and Asian actors. Now, sometimes you are forced to change your names. Because when you go to register with the unions, they say, oh, there is somebody by your name. So you either have to change your first name or your last name. And this may happen to you, so be prepared. Now, the reason I want to talk today about changing names is because of what happened to one of my students. She was driving into Hollywood, just arriving French new, I mean, fresh new from New England. And she was stopped by a policeman because I guess her tail light was not working or something like that. And he asked her for identification. So he, she showed the driving license. Well, she had just changed to a brand new acting name, which had no, relation to, uh, no relationship to her own name. And the policeman then asked her for the registration of the car, who was in the name of a stepfather. So it was a second different name. And he asked, do you have any other identification? And she said, well, yes, I, I have my passport with me, which was a birth name. So she had three names to deal with. Actually, she was lucky. She could have ended up in jail, but the policeman was very nice. So somebody who was arriving fresh in Hollywood, he gave her a warning. He gave her two weeks to change all her identification. So what she had to do was to put her name next to it, put AKA, which means also known as an acting name. And that's all she had to do. Now, if you young people out there want to change your name, then do it the right way. Use AKA, also known as.